Queen? Yep. Oh shit. Okay. Well, 92 Green Z34 here. Um, we have another beer to review. Um, this time is, uh, it's, it's pretty unique because it's a dark beer in a clear bottle. Usually you don't see it like this, but uh, it's Newcastle. Um, my uncle actually told me to try this. Uh, it's, it's got embossed actually in the glass, the one and only. Also doing this on Logan's Farms channel, Newcastle. Um, on the back side of the bottle, it has a little fun fact. So, um, Newcastle Brown Ale, fact, bridge. Um, and it's, it's all three of our bottles have the same fact. It's well known that Newcastle Brown Ale is full of flavor and remarkably smooth. What's less known is that the bridge over the river turn in Newcastle was built by the same company that constructed the Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia. The, the turn bridge was opened in 1928 by King George V and Queen Mary and still features proudly on Newcastle Brown Ale's label. Um, and it says, brewed by Newcastle Federation Breweries Limited, Tadcaster, England, imported by Newcastle Importeries, White Plains, New York. And that gives you other questions. Here's your phone number. Enjoy the one and only Newcastle Brown Ale responsibly. Gives you a government warning, uh, recycling information barcode. Um, the cap just says Newcastle Brown Ale. has a little star on it. It's okay in Michigan. It's okay in Michigan. Um, drink cool. Total fluid ounces. Got a star. Um, got some, some coins on there. It's imported from England up top. So, um, that's pretty much our information on this beer. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll use the old Guinness cap and crack her open because she's not a twist off, she's a pry off. Pretty weak uh, carbonation, but as is typical for a beer like this. Uh, it looks like a black and tan kind of style. Um, but we'll see what she tastes like. Um, Did we feel the mention on the loaded? Yeah, L Logan's been drinking much. He started drinking before us, so uh, his uh, his vocabulary is narrowed. <laughs> How does this work? You should be able to take it off with your teeth. Yeah. I thought about it. Almost. There you go. Careful. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Don't anger the foam. Okay. So you know, all is well so far that way. Um. Yeah. So let's uh, see what she tastes like, huh? Wait, first smell, smell, smell. Um, it almost has a. It's kind of a strange thing to say, but it smells kind of like um. Well, it smells like the black and tan actually. The black and tan that that I reviewed, the Mississippi Mud, has that kind of that scent. It's uh, it's kind of pungent, but uh, I don't think it'll be too strong. Um, we'll give her a shot. So, uh, cheers. Bitter, kind of like Guinness. It has, a, it has more bitterness than black and tan. It tastes more like Guinness than you'd think, but it is much lighter. Um, it is. It's not as bitter as Guinness, though. Guinness has definitely got a more bitter to it. Now, and this would be by what a normal beer person would call bitter, but I actually personally don't taste a bitterness in, in Guinness, but I can tell what they're what they're talking about. Um, it's very, 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 very smooth. It pours down like silk. You know, it's texture of it is, is incredible. I like it. Um, it is actually really smooth. You know, you hold it up to a light, you guys can't really see it, but you can see light through this. If you put a glass of Guinness, if you fill a glass of Guinness up halfway and you put it up so the liquid is literally touching the light bulb, you can't see the light through the other side. And that's not the truth with this here. I mean it's definitely lighter in color but taste is is, is along those lines. Um, I mean this this is an English beer and Guinness is a Irish beer. Um, then we got American beers like this um, but I, I think you guys get the idea that each each uh, nation kinda has their own own style just nation specific you know Americans is is very light clear and uh, what a lot of people call flavored free, but I, I definitely de detect a distinct flavor with American beers. Just, uh, <sighs> you know, they're all they're all different. Um, we're uh, we're probably going to review a German beer next. It'll probably be probably be the last beer review we do with Six Pontiac Nine, but we'll see. Um, 
but uh, I guess we're just gonna have to drink a little more. Well, huh? <laughs> well, guys, I guess that's really what we have for this video. Um, stay tuned for at least one more, possibly a couple more. But uh, as always, guys, have a good day.